Hey what's going on guys my name is George and this is SAS Master. Today we're going to check out Toonly. So it's going to be a quick overview and a quick tutorial on how to get around Toonly. So once you have it installed on Windows or Mac this is going to be your main dashboard to start off. So what you got right here is to click on create a new video. So we click on create a new video and we got to name our video. In this case I'm going to do test because I'm just making this video for the testing for you guys. So once you created the video, this is going to be your main interface. I know it looks kind of intimidating, but it's actually pretty easy. And once you finish this video, you're going to feel really safe on making your own videos by yourself. Okay, guys. So let's start off here on the top left where we have my videos. If we click on my videos, it's going to head back and it's going to show you all the videos and we could edit any one we want. Next thing we have is save. So when you start editing your video and you start making your flow, you can save it. That doesn't mean it's going to create the video. It's just going to save it for working later or just uh, make, making some changes or anything you want. Next thing is the export. This is when you are done, you create the video and exports it. Now something I found really cool about Toonly is that it actually goes up to 4K resolution. So that's pretty awesome because 4K is going to be the future in a couple of years. It's going to be like the minimum. Next thing we got is the buttons for return, that's undo or redo. Next thing we got is the project name. We can change it right here. We're just going to leave it. Once you start editing your scenes, you can you can preview them the here. Next thing we have is a, a minus and plus, which is a zoom and uh, not zoom. I don't know how to say it. But just in case a project is big or you add a big image, you do unzoom. Next thing we have is the options over here. Pretty basic stuff. So on the left is the created scenes. We got the scenes, backgrounds, characters, objects, text, and audios. So scenes is the first one that you're going to see, which is pre-made scenes. It has like a, the, the background and some characters built into it. And I'm just going to pull like this one from the circus. And all I got to do is drag it in here. Once you drag it, it starts loading. You can see that it was pretty easy. And we can hit play here, or we can use the space bar to play. Hit space bar, and you can see the clown. You saw a little bit of gray there, but because it wasn't fully loaded. Let's click on it now. There you go. And it's a clowning, it's a clapping clown. So before we head on and see more scenes, I'm gonna show you something really quick. Let's just see, for example, here in the green, it's our character. You can see this right here. It says idle. Idle, then we have clapping, and then idle again. If you feel the clapping part is too uh, short, you can just drag it. Just drag this right here. Click on it. You can drag it. See? And if you want more idle, you drag that also. Then we have the balloons right here. We can also drag that to make it even longer. And the circus, which is the background. So we just dragged it from like about three seconds. We extended it to six seconds. And you can extend that, extend that as much as you want. So right here in the scenes, you can see these are seconds right there. So this is like the first scene and it's already pre-built. Play, and you know we have more time clapping and then idle and it stops see that how easy that was to to move around okay so let's check out other scenes before we create a new scene so if we want to start from backgrounds we have backgrounds right here you can create them you can just drag them here move the background Hold on. sorry that just adds it there we're gonna do Command C. There we go. We're going to create a new scene to add that background. So let's just add this background. Pull it in there. And this is scene two. Let's wait for it to load. And this is how it's going to look. Play. And remember, we just pulled in the background. It's not a scene. So there's nothing else but the background. But let's just say we want to put some characters in there. So we just select these guys. You can see they're from, from categories. Asian American, African American, doctor, joker, construction, lady, and just a whole bunch of them. Let's add this uh, Middle Eastern man. Is that a man here? All right. So I just added this guy right here. You're going to see he is not doing anything because he's actually on idle. So what I got to do to change this is hit set settings here on the, on the guy. So instead of being idle, I want him to do something. And we got a whole bunch of things he can do. I mean, he can be angry, clapping, uh, comparing items, dancing, drinking wine. This is going to depend on the scene that you are working on and what you're talking about. So uh, this guy's going to exercise. So he's turning gray because he was loading. So let's hit spacebar so we can hit play. 
and the dude is exercising. Now that was kind of short. I'll put this a little bit longer. There. So now he's exercising all this time. The scene is gone because it stopped, but you can see the guy exercising. We can click on him to change the size. Really easy. If you want to mirror him, see how he le turned left. Now he's exercising from the left and he's looking to their side. We can go to the foreground to background. So if there's different layers in this, if you guys use Photoshop, then you know a little bit of, a, li a little bit about layers. So you can add objects and you can put them in front or back that, that those are layers. And if you want to eliminate the guy, we just delete them. And just, there's just all these bunch of guys you can add. Next thing we got is objects. There's all these bunch of objects objects that we can add depending on what we want to create. Now something really cool about this is that you can add your own objects like anything you want. You know, you just find it on Google or if you have download special pages for, for images, just download them and put them in here. In just in case you want something special like your logo, you want to put it there. So you can just drag them in, in here. Hit it over here. Let me drag it over here. Hit play. And there's the object and it turns back easy as that spacebar again then we got the text we can add these text smooth text smooth text slightly slightly machine joy or spread and it also has animation in the, in the text if you hover over the text it's going to show you what it's going to do so pretty straightforward stuff and last but not least we got the audios these are audios if you want them just hit play it's going to load Wait for it. And there you go. You can just select it, drag it in there, and here's the audio. So, for example, you see how easy that was? Now, everything looks simple now, but it's going to depend a lot on you, on what you can create, and what your imagination can think of to actually uh, build something, build a video. You can add the backgrounds, characters, and they'll have movement if you want, so it's pretty easy. And we just add scenes and scenes after scenes, however you want. Now you can, you can see that we only previewed one scene, but if we hit the preview button up here, it should preview both scenes. So now it's, it's going to combine them, it's going to stop, and the next one. See how easy that was? I mean, it's super easy to get around. Now, once you start working a lot here on the timeline, it's going to start building up. You got two options. You can compress it like this instead of having it like more bulky. Because once you start adding logos, scenes, objects, it's going to get a little bit bigger. And we also have this plus and minus button to zoom. So, for example, if we zoom, this is going to give us more uh, room to move around, be more precise. So once you zoom, you can do that a little bit more easier. So pretty basic stuff, pretty easy. This is uh, the Toonly. If you guys want to buy Toonly, the link is going to be in the description just in case you guys want to buy it. I think it's a pretty cool software. It's it's in development. They're, they're adding a whole bunch of scenes, characters to make it even bigger. They're planning to be with the number one players for the for Toon kind of videos. So there's the option if you guys want to buy it. Well, all right, guys, my name is George, and this is Sassmaster. Thanks for watching. See you guys later.